Okay, the first step here to do the conversion, obviously, is to take off the um, shell from the old holster, or the old base. This particular, um, this is held on with four bolts, and the tightness of these also um, is how you can adjust the tension to a point, um, but you, they also give you you know, spacers in between that you can use to um, to adjust it. And I guess I'll probably match my current uh, clip location, but I think, like I said, I got these J clips. I'll throw those on to make it a little bit quicker. I don't have to remove these clips on this base right now. You know, all in all, I have to say the Alien Gear construction is it does seem to be pretty good. Um, I'm not that familiar with other similar hybrid holsters, so I can't really speak um, completely to that. Alright, complete with the conversion now. I didn't show you all the intricate details, but obviously you just have to put the clips on and you know, get the modular part, or the this part of the holster reattached. So, now I'll show you what it looks like on me. Well, actually, first thing I want to mention too is these clips they seem like they'll work all right. Um, J-style clip, like I said, it's different than the metal clips I had on before. Um, big thing, I, one of the big problems I had with the holsters is overall thickness, like I mentioned. Definitely seems thinner but floppier, and we'll see how it how it works once we put it on. Okay, we got the holster on now. Again, this is the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 2.0, converted from my 1.0. Um, it does it does feel thinner than the 1.0. Uh, I think it's about where I want it, but I I'll probably have to play around with it a bit since I just did this. So I'll probably have to do a follow-up video. Um, I haven't tucked in the shirt yet. I guess untucked. How does it look? Yeah. It actually looks pretty good. Um, don't really see any bulges on it, which is a good thing. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, with the shirt tucked in. All right, did some more adjusting and actually uh, changed clothes to see in shorts and a t-shirt. How does this do? Um, well, where I have it right now, I can see it, but I did raise it up because what I found is that this slide guard here is um, causing it to be difficult to reholster um, when I had it down lower. So I had to change my clip location in order to um, be able to successfully reholster it without interfering and to be able to, to do it one-handedly. So. Unfortunately, the butt sticks up a little bit more now, but uh, I think it's still probably fine. Um, definitely with other attire, uh, with a heavier shirt or you know other other clothes would probably work better. But um, yeah, it seems to mostly melt away. There's a little bit. You can can definitely make it out. When you look at it from certain angles, or when I when I twist <laughs> like I am for this video, but yeah, I think there's opportunity there to um, maybe play around with the clips a little bit more, get the position ideal. Sorry for the skin. Uh, as far as retention in the holster, it's a similar thing that I found before with the the Alien Gear holster. Anyways, is it's not. It's not great, it can be adjusted, but they say, you know, once you snug it up in your belt, it's going to stay. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I did play around with this. This is actually the second attempt and changed these washers to slightly thicker ones because of reholstering issues. So um, I didn't want to crank it down anymore. I guess I decided to make it easier for reholstering. I didn't worry about it as much as about the retention. That. I can't really give an uh, assessment until I wear this for a little while, and so I'll have to 
do a part two and kind of how would I, would I ultimately think about it, whether I like it, whether it's working out for me. Thanks, YouTube.